gone. Yeah, I had to turn it into a defeat. It got the beating of Josh. And then the last three rounds, he just, he just ran it, just switched off. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. If he'd have kept the same positivity for the last three rounds, I think he'd have nicked it against Josh. You know, before that fight, I asked Josh Wales who were going to win that on, on my channel, and he said, Galahad beats Warrington because he doesn't engage. What does he mean by that? He doesn't stand toe to toe. He'll pick his shots and he'll move. He'll pick his shots whereas he wants to, he wants to engage with. Like Andre, Andre Ward. <coughs> like Andre Ward, pick your pocket, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think that uh, Galahad tried to pick Warrington's pocket then? Well, he did do it for 10 rounds. And then the last three rounds, like 10, 11, 12. Uh, he just switched off and he was in front for me and then last three rounds cost him, cost him and it were, it were still nip and suck who won it but he lost it in the last three rounds where he'd seen finish line and then didn't want to go for it. If I'd have been in his corner and I said look we've got to make sure now but he didn't. I don't know what the corner were doing but I know if it had been in our corner we'd have gone look if we're, gonna, if we're gonna win it, you've still gotta take, belt off you've got to take a chance. And if you get if you get chinned by a by a countered by a look with 50 50 if you don't go for it, there's every chance we get, get beat. Nod here, are you? you don't want to get that. So let's go for it this last three rounds. And, and he didn't have that rammed into him. I think they were trying to nick the belt. Yeah. I think they were trying to pickpocket the belt from that time on and think, well, I've just done enough now. Let's just go and nick it. No. What do you think will happen now then? Because Dominic and the team around Gallard have got him into. Uh, Got him into. Uh, I forgot we trained a fort there. They've got him into. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, they've got him into. Uh, what they call it? Uh, a position for IBF number one. They're trying to get that out of the rematch. For who? Tell her. Yeah. How are they going to do that? No, Galahad's getting into position for Warrington for a rematch. They're going to do that by mandatory status, aren't they? <laughs> but, but I think, I think... Frank They're trying Warren... to pick my brains, do you think? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just wondering if you think that there's any chance... I mean, it's a lot of it. it's just common sense anyway, but like, sometimes some people can't see to end of the nose. Um, I think he's missed... He's missed the ball there with Josh. Because uh, they will avoid him, so he's going to be waiting around for probably two years. Yeah. Well, the edge of going on because they've got a good fight eliminators, so someone's got to pay to fight. It, who's going to, it's not the most exciting at times, uh, uh, Kate Gallagher. So, who's going to want to pay the watch yeah. in, in a, an eliminator, unless you, depending who's up there? You don't sell the ticket, so then you've got to then you've got to wait to get out mandatory. Then you've got to wait for when the mandatory is due. Then if it's due, because Josh has defended a few times now, if he wants to, he can put a, an exception in. That means he can bypass. Not done an exception yet, has he? So it can bypass. Uh, so that, that's maybe two years there. Yeah. So miles on two years, long time in boxing. You told me once then. So if Barry Kick Gallard still gonna have the same aptitude for it, the same hunger, uh, and will he will the edge or will the edge have gone off him? And meanwhile, while he's fine, will he be in a banana skin? Don't know, no, do it. Do you think one to know the stuff for the uh, Shaka Stevenson fight now? Uh, you get a couple of fights out of that. You think Frank Warren thinks that Warrington might be just top of hill and coming down a bit now, then do you think? I think he's gonna fight some big, big fights. We've well, just been in three massive ones, haven't he? I'm on about in stage, but oh, in stage, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think uh, Well he's a 30 and 0 now. Yeah, and he needs to get him over to um, maybe Vegas or look, if he's a big fight, Saudi Arabia. Uh, they wanted to put big fights on. I don't know if he's quite fits the bill for Saudi Arabia, but it definitely fits the bill for New York or Vegas. Well, he's the big ticket seller for Frank Warren at the moment. Uh, he's a he's a smaller version of Ricky Atten, isn't he? Yeah. Not 
quite got the Ricky Ann aura about him, but he's uh, he's of that ilk. Yeah. And uh, but then they'll only ever be one Ricky Ann. Yeah. Yeah, you did well with Ricky, didn't you? Dan? I did. I mean, Frank did a great job up to him leaving, and then uh, I think I did a fantastic job with him. And he's arguably the most successful part of his career. He had four fights for me in one world title, different world titles, different weights and whatever. So he, uh, if, if Ricky works his back and go, yeah, I won that title with yeah, won that title, won that title, got me title back. Big fight for Steel, which, which got him to the Mayweather fight, where he cashed in. I didn't want him to find Mayweather, did I? Um, and he has still earned a lot of money, more money, by not fighting me with it if he'd have listened to me, but it's history, innit? But if you look at what I did, broke America with him, broke Vegas with him, got him, if you think of Khan, I almost signed Khan. Khan never got the big fight in the middle of the fight. Now, arguably, if Khan had been with me, could have got it, probably. Was maybe um, I had a maneuver, but look, it's some, you need an element of luck. Yeah, you do, yeah. Yeah, you do, yeah. So, last question. Uh, what next for you, Dennis, in your life? You've just got married this year. Mm. Obviously, I didn't get to wedding, I got arrested. Getting up playing. You, you was invited. <laughs> yeah, we're invited, thank you. Uh, but Ryan Air don't like you, they don't like me. Not many people like me. Well, 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 listen, in Paris, it's your problem, aren't I? Yeah. But it, in, you know, it's pantomime season, don't it? Don't you? So you're you're a good baddie, aren't you? You played a part very well. It's quite natural for you. <laughs> well, I, I, that's this question. This is from Cliff, an Arsenal fan. The Gunner. The Gunner. I were at Tottenham last week, so their stadium were fantastic, amazing. Cliff's uh, Dennis. Uh, oh, in your organisation, you've got a little bit of 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 a little needs to think about not getting too personal because at the end of the day everybody's got a family everybody's got a life to live yeah we don't we don't necessarily respect some of the kids who you talk about yeah. uh, but I, I wouldn't want their family because these kids watch innocence and things like that and maybe one of them that yeah. it. so you wouldn't, you wouldn't want them to hear it about their their son or their dad getting abused verbally so much when it gets a bit near to home no wrong with saying that them and they're this and the frauds and the but you just got to be careful just to get but that, that's all but you are very entertaining uh, you've just got to curb it because you upset people and why not and I like some of them but like they go Dennis was your pal do it I don't know I'll have a word but you are <laughs> You are entertaining, yeah, and, and you're very knowledgeable. When they meet me, they're the nicest part of the show. I thought you'd be horrible, bro. You're not, are you? You've got a good heart, but you just need to watch your traps sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, on that note, then, uh, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. Don't have nightmares, all right? But remember to subscribe to Porky's Corner. Because we're doing the job properly. Alright, you want to finish off and say anything, Annie? Oh, and a shout out to Innovation Alloys, to AJ. Well done, AJ. You're the man of the moment, the man of the future. You are up for taking my crown. The throne's waiting, going to be waiting for you, AJ. You've served your apprenticeship, so whenever you're ready, pal. Come back, AJ, you're needed. We love you. <laughs> Peace out, keep on shooting.